Hurricane Lorenzo is still rapidly intensifying at this point and is on the cusp of reaching Category 5 status with winds of 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 935 millibars according to latest satellite estimate estimates as of 2 a.m. UTC this September 29th. The CDPS looks at floras in the Azores for October the 2nd. Um, the CDPS scale has actually gone down a little bit on this right now because the storm's trajectory is deviating slightly further to the west on the forecast, which means a little less rainfall is expected on the islands. Still, there could still be 100 mile per hour winds or higher on some of the Azores in the next few days. It's at 24 degrees north, 44.8 degrees west. Damage potential is still devastating on the CDPS. 1325 miles from Flores in the Azores, 1381 from Horta, 1441 from Tercera, 1475 from Ponta Delgada, and 2711 from Cork in Ireland. Looking at the expected rainfall then, as I've alluded to, uh, the models have shifted a little west, at least the GFS has, and you can see the islands of the Azores there not really getting into that pink zone, which is three inches of rain or higher. Now, a deviation to the east on the forecast, that is quite possible, and that would shift the three inches plus of rain back over some of those western islands, which will also get battered by those 100, 100 mile per hour plus winds. Sea surface temperatures look like this then, 27 degrees, that will continue for another day or so, maybe a little bit longer than that even, um, so the storm still has a lot of energy ahead of it that it can use. And looking over the next few days, this is the wind field expectations, curving towards the northeast as we've seen, the wind field will gradually expand, that's another feature that gives it a CDPS stage 5, because an extremely large wind field will engulf most of the islands of the Azores and then it will move off towards the northeast, probably weaken quite substantially just after it passes the Azores, so the threat to Western Europe isn't particularly great. It is there, but not as high as previous storms of the past. Uh, this is what the models are saying on RAM. Um, you can see they're expecting gradual weakening. The models have really not caught up with the storm, as a matter of fact, so... I think we can not look at that with any conviction at all. Now this is what wind shear is saying, maybe a slight increase over the course of Sunday, but decreasing again after that. Uh, but wind shear hasn't really been an issue for the storm so far. It is extremely possible that we could see this storm reach Category 5 status in the early to middle hours of the morning, which just happens to be when I'm not here doing updates. Here is what the storm's been looking like in the last few images. Gradually moving north-northwest, maybe even a slight northerly jog there in those last few frames actually when you look at it. But the eye continuing to clear out in those latest frames. Along with that, the eye wall building in as well continuously. Minus 80 degree cloud tops on the northern side and northeastern side extending round to the east. Looking at the water vapor imagery now as well, the core is very clear. You can see how it has really improved over the course of today. Um, the eye shape still not fully there at this point. It would appear that there's some cloud um, associated with the inside the eye on the southern side at the moment. If it does continue to channel that out though, we could be looking at a Category 5 on our hands here. Extremely far east in the Atlantic and the Azores need to watch out for this by the time we get to the middle of next week. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.